Reactions continue to trail the uh, president's speech on transportation, agriculture, food security, among others, to cushion the impact of petrol subsidy removal. Some civil society organizations have commended its bold step to roll out palliatives. We'll bring you uh, details of that story subsequently. Let's turn to this developing one from Lagos, where the state parks and garages management says it's committed to reducing the transportation fare by 25%, as announced by the Lagos state governor, Babajide Songwolu. They also distanced themselves from the planned Nigeria Liberal Congress uh, protest slated for tomorrow. Correspondent Ademola Lawrence reports. A little over two months, we have saved over a three on 31st of July 2023. In a nationwide broadcast, President Bola Tinubu promised to reel out measures to cushion the effect of the removal of petrol subsidy. Governor of Lagos State Babajide Sonwolu slashed the fees of the state owned buses by 50% and announced 25% reduction in yellow buses fare, which he said will be announced officially by their body. All the routes of Lagos at 50% discount. Um, all the commuters that are applying on this route will start enjoying. As a result of this, the Lagos State Parks and Garages says it's ready to comply with the directives of the state government by reducing transportation fare and other fees. The government ticket has been reduced with a tune of 200 naira, while that of our operation has been reduced. By 25% has been administrated by the state government yesterday. Inaugurated a committee that will monitor every pack in accordance with the directive. It is certain it will, the other will be given, it will, be, it will comply to. Transportation plays key roles. Apart from transporting people, we also transport goods and businesses around. So if there is a reduction in general, because we are dealing with the general public, if there is a reduction in all these their fees that they pay into our own organization, definitely it will have a ripple effect on every other thing. The transport workers also added that they wouldn't join the organized labor in their proposed protest, since the state government has made effort to cushion the effects of the subsidy removal on residents. We have never seen parts and guarantees, therefore, it provocally say no to any form of strikes and protests by any group or organized labor. All our members are therefore enjoined to go to their normal duties without any fear or intimidation. As Nigerians are aware the implementation of the palliative promise by the federal and state government, they hope this will turn the current situation around to ease the pains of Nigerians. Ademola Lawrence, TVC News, Lagos. Secretary General Ohaneze Youth Organization is appealing to Igbo youths to join hands with the Southeast government to end the Monday sit-a-tom uh, in the region. The Igbo Apex Social Cultural Group a uh, youth group drawn from five southeast states converged on Enugum for the Solidarity March. Abdelia Jai has more. There have been several efforts instituted by government stakeholders and individuals aimed at discontinuing the enforcement of the civil unrest in the southeast region. Among such include improving security architecture, engaging with town union at market leaders, civil society organizations, and the need to stop the about two years sit at home order. Converging on the state capital from the five southern states are representatives of our Asia youth organization who are here to lend their voices to the cancellation of the sit at home order. We are on continuous engagement to ensure that we end this seat at home and we urge everybody to come out and go about their businesses as we urge government to ensure absolute security around these cities and communities. Also, members of the National Association of Nigerian Students are urging Enugu youths to lead in the advocacy. This format is just to encourage them that they should come out, that the government of the day has their interest at heart. And we want to also see how we can, you know, bring this issue to an end because it's affecting virtually everything in Southeast. Meanwhile, commercial activities have surged in Enugu as major markets, shopping malls, banks, 
civil service offices comply appreciably to end it at home order. Everybody should come out to uh, look for something to chop. Uh. After pocketing women within market and above market, which recorded full market and vehicular oppression compliance. We have heard before that there is no security, but now we can see that there is security everywhere. So I advise them to start coming out. So that, um, they should not fear and they should have the, the, the extra colleagues to come out and sell their goods. Recently, the airport leader's letter written to his special counsel, Aloy Jimako, authenticated by his former chief of staff, Richard Anibogo, it is believed to have validated the claim to stop the enforcement of the city at home order in the southeast region. Bami Dele Ajayi, TVC News, Enugu. And following a two-week sit at home order by faction of the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra, markets no worry, the Imo state capital defied the order to open shops for business. The president described the order as deliberate attempt to inflict untold hardship on the people of the southeast. TVC is Prince Uba went to the streets to assess the situation. The faction of the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra, led by Simon Eba, declared two weeks sit at home in the southeast region, starting from 31st July through 14th August. But the leader of the group, Nnamde Kano, in a handwritten letter from the DSS detention, said anyone giving such order is an enemy of the people and asked them to ignore the order. Imo State residents in Owere defy the order as shops open for business. We actually crave for the market to be open because we are tired of the city to, to be sincere. And we, 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 really, we really wish the government can actually come out, sensitize the people also on the dangers of sitting at home every morning because it's really affecting the economy of the state in particular and the southeast in general. The market is open today, as we can see. In fact, that's the singular reason I came here personally today, to see for myself what is happening. And now I have seen that the market is open. The people know that they gain nothing by sitting at home. They are here today, they are trying to earn a living, and they can hardly blame them for that. The Imo State Commissioner of Police, Mohamed Bade, reassured the residents to go about their businesses as their security is guaranteed. The issue of sit at home should be ignored. Everybody should come out to continue performing his lawful businesses without any hindrance. We are there for everybody. I will most protect life and property. I will pray that all the, the, the immolized too will reciprocate by giving us vital information where necessary. The other has continued to take its negative toll on the socio-economic lives of the Southeasterners. As people now ignore it, it will soon be a history in the region. Prince Oba, TVC News, Owe.